The Arduino and Raspberry Pi are two very popular electronic devices that are often thought of as being similar when they are actually very different. In this video I will be introducing you to both the Arduino and Raspberry Pi as well as talking about their similarities and differences. If you have an idea for something you want to build but you're not quite sure if it will work or you don't want to invest too much time or money at the early stages of development then the Arduino might just be what you need. The Arduino was designed as a prototyping platform and for the basic version like this Arduino Uno cost around £20, that's about $30 according to Google. The Arduino is based around a microcontroller seen here, which is a simple computer contained on a single chip. Using a computer you write a program for the Arduino and download it to the Arduino via the USB connection. You can then connect to the Arduino switches, lights, displays and so on. The Arduino will then run your program and interface with these to output information, read the information and so on. Or you can plug into the Arduino a ready-made circuit board known as a shield. This is an Ethernet shield, so this can take the Arduino online put it onto a network so it just plugs in the top like so. There are a number of different Arduinos such as the Uno seen here, the Nano seen here, and also the Mega. And there are also non-official versions since the Arduino is open source. Each Arduino typically has a number of analog inputs, such as down here, as well as digital input and outputs as seen here, which can be programmed either as inputs or outputs. Another difference between the Arduinos is the amount of memory for storing the program and variables, as well as the physical size. For example, with this one we have to either plug in a shield or plug in wires, whereas with the Nano it goes straight into breadboard. Whereas the Arduino was designed with prototyping in mind, the Raspberry Pi was created as a cheap computer to encourage children to learn to program. Unlike the Arduino, the Raspberry Pi uses a system on chip which has much greater computing power than the Arduino. The Raspberry Pi runs an operating system like Linux from an SD card and has USB connections for keyboard, mouse, etc. and Ethernet for networking as well as HDMI for high definition audio and video, RCA jack for SD video and stereo jack for audio. Currently there are two models. There's the Model A which is a cut down version of this Model B. The Model A has less features and of course it's cheaper. The similarity to the Arduino other than closeness in price as the Raspberry Pi costs around £20 as well is that the Raspberry Pi also allows for interfacing with lights, switches etc but through these connections here known as GPIO general purpose input output. However, while most Arduinos are 5 volt logic compatible the Raspberry Pi is 3.3 volt logic compatible so if you wanted to connect a 5 volt logic device to Raspberry Pi, it could damage the Raspberry Pi. So you have to convert it to use 3.3 volt logic level. There are add-ons for the Raspberry Pi. I don't have any to show you, but they give protection to the Raspberry Pi and do the level conversion. They extend the capabilities of the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi can be used for prototyping like the Arduino, but it's generally more difficult for time sensitive events since the Raspberry Pi runs an operating system, whereas the Arduino doesn't. On the plus side, whereas the Arduino has to be used with a computer to program it, with the Raspberry Pi it's a complete solution. You can go one step further, however. 
you can use the Raspberry Pi to program the Arduino through the GPIO or you can interface an Arduino with a Raspberry Pi to extend the I.O. or to allow the Raspberry Pi to read analog inputs such as from a light dependent resistor as the Raspberry Pi has no analog inputs. Both the Arduino and Raspberry Pi are cheap means to learn programming and interfacing with the real world. However, generally the Arduino is more suited for prototyping and is easier for beginners to get into, as the Raspberry Pi has much more computing abilities than an Arduino, is better suited for demanding applications for example. Then there is the option of connecting an Arduino to a Raspberry Pi to get the best of both worlds at a reasonable cost. There are many alternatives to the Arduino and Raspberry Pi. For example, the PIC microcontrollers are also very popular with hobbyists as an alternative to the Arduino. As for the Raspberry Pi, one example of an alternative is the Beagle Bone Black. While each of them has their advantages and disadvantages, both the Arduino and Raspberry Pi have a big following which means there is more chance of finding information and help that you may need when using them. When buying add-ons for the Arduino or the Raspberry Pi, be sure to shop around for a good price, as often add-ons can cost more than the Arduino or the Raspberry Pi. This is an example when buying an unofficial add-on can be a lot cheaper, but be sure to check reviews first to make sure the add-on is reliable. The Raspberry Pi at its original cost does not include a case, power supply, keyboard, mouse, monitor or SD card. There are more expensive options which include the Raspberry Pi than necessary accessories, but do you need to pay out all that money? Perhaps you have a USB keyboard lying around or an SD card you no longer use with your camera.